<laughs> this, is, this comes from a story George Quayle used to tell. It's about Kitty the mayor, mayor of horse, not mayor who with the ring round, <laughs> mayor of the horse. Uh, and he used to laugh like a drain whenever he told it as if he hadn't heard it. <laughs> Wonderful man, uh, George Quayle. Anyway, I hope I've done it justice. Old Moore lived at Perkney Erkin, up on the Sky Hill Road. He had an old mare called Kitty, in a field close by his abode. Then morning, one morning, such a shock, Kitty lay dead in the grass. So it wouldn't be a great big loss, he needed to work real fast. Jimmy Ribbit was living not far away, a butcher Moloch was he. Rough butcher he was, had all the knives and the knowledge which was the key. Big Jimmy might be good with a knife, well, was mighty good with a knife, the mare was skinned in a flash. Then she was left lying bare in the field. To the tanner they then had to dash. Next thing they came shouting to old Moore, the mare is back on her feet. <laughs> sure thing, he's right. What's the next move? Old Moore was never be beat. Into town to Joe McCormick the butcher. What sort of skins was about? Joe shook his head, not done a lot. Mare's chances were surely in doubt. All he had was a pile of young lambs, Moore said. They did would be right. They sewed and stitched the scutcher skins and had her covered by night. Months later when asked about Kitty's plight, Moore said the recovery was full. That spring they had to get out the shears and clipped off three cats of wool. <laughs> skins took they did, took right enough, clipped again later that year. People heard about the old mare and came in droves for to see her. He got lots of requests from all over the aisle because everyone wanted a foal. Almost, old Moore said no, she's gone past it. Unfortunately, Kitty was too old. <laughs>